This channel is what studying abroad dreams are made of. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, I'm Pavitra Mashankar and I'm currently a master student at Technical University of Denmark. Before jumping into the video about the university, I just want to give a small snapshot of uh, what it is like to live in Denmark. First, coming to the people in Denmark, I should say that they're very friendly and very kind and welcoming. So from my own experience, I can say that uh, in case uh, if you're a new person here in Denmark and if you're kind of lost or unfamiliar with a few of the things here in Denmark, the people I've seen are always very helpful warm and welcoming so i think when it comes to people there is no doubt that this is one of the most comfortable country as well as one of the safe happy country to live in and next comes the language most of them here speak danish which i thought would be some kind of a restriction when i initially started my masters at dtu but later on um, i was seen that the people are kind of open minded that in case if you do not know their language they are uh kind enough to speak to you in english which is something which made me happy and more like uh, welcomed in um this country and a general thing which i would like to talk about is the weather here in denmark the weather in denmark is very much unpredictable so that is something which took time uh for me to adapt but uh, overall i should say that denmark is one nice country to live in so now coming to the important section of this video i should say so i'll be talking about dtu or technical university of denmark as i am studying there So uh, DTU is one of the most um, well-known university, and also it is known to like set records uh, in terms of the publication that they are doing. And uh, it is seen that in DTU more hands-on practical experience and the knowledge sharing is more encouraged. So this is one of the reason, the research being the main reason that why I chose DTU to pursue my masters here. So talking from my own experience, when I initially uh, joined DTU. Uh, before my courses started there was one week period known as the introductory week so this whole week uh, was something where i kind of enjoyed and got an overview of dtu and also life in denmark so in this one week we were a group uh, we were made into a group of 10 to 15 people and uh, each group had like one uh, in charge who was an existing student of dtu so this whole small group of us was called as the buddy group and throughout this one week we did have like a college orientation as well as our department orientation and apart from uh, this we also had many fun activities where uh, this group of 10 to 15 people we were all from different nationalities and also from different backgrounds so this one week we got to know each other we spent time with each other we had various fun activities which uh, we performed as a group and we kind of uh, had a tour of our university as our campus is pretty huge i should say and also we roamed uh, all over copenhagen in order to know what it is like to live in denmark and also uh, to give a more uh, overview of what a student life would be if, I, if we would start studying at dtu and the next thing uh, which was which kind of surprised me at dtu was the examination pattern um because in india we had like one set of examination pattern that is uh, to have a written exam uh, at the end but here it was not the case as each course which i had didn't follow the same examination pattern so as a result of which i had different kind of examination for different kind of course for example uh, i had a course where uh, the whole examination was based upon a 4 hour written test and a few other courses i had to present a report and this report was nothing but a mini project in itself which needed a lot of background research and um, it was very challenging and others could include um, like a group uh, um, presentation or a group report hand in or um, viva as we call it in india that is the oral examination and so on so this is something which took time for me to adjust but uh, it was also fun along the way to um, be exposed to different kind of uh, evaluation method uh, and uh, the next thing which i would talk about dtu and uh, from my own personal experience is that i've seen that most of the professors as well as the students at dtu kind of uh, look 
into your personality or i should uh, to say in simple words they look for the kind of the person you are and the passion you hold for that subject rather than your grades um, as such so if you are a very curious person and you are willing uh, to do some kind of research they are always welcome and if you kind of ask them um if you kind of ask your supervisor in order to give you an opportunity to be part of a project to gain more hands on experience they are more than welcome and they would give you an opportunity either under a project or include you in uh, in team of in a team to be part of something huge so this is something new uh, and was something very useful because i kind of got uh, into a project because of uh, this kind of experience i had at then uh, dtu another thing which i kind of uh, missed is the flexibility that uh, we have when we can choose the subjects that we want to pursue or study when we are doing our masters so i was given a list of subjects from which i could select so this helped me to uh, concentrate on the subject i really wanted to study in so this was something which was quite impressive when i started uh, to my when i started my masters here at dtu so overall dtu is one nice institute um, where you will be exposed to various opportunities and also various kind of internship and also we have career fairs and various other programs which you can be a part of um which would help you to build your profile so i hope this uh, will video helps you to apply for your master's program